Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coom Cassis for IFL TV. We're at the O2 here in London, ahead of Wardy versus Clark. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Derek Chisora. How are you today? I feel very fine. I'm joking. I'm good, man. How are you, man? Happy Easter to all your listeners and all your viewers. Happy Easter to you as well. Um, this video will probably go out tomorrow, so prediction? Yeah, prediction for Wardy and Clark? Mmm, delicious. Mmm. I like both guys, I can't say. Alright, usually you're just straight. Yeah, I've spotted both guys and I I know what they good at and what they bad at and when they pick up where they flop. So um it's a very good fight. We know Fraser is gonna come and box cause and move his head. And his opponent is going to come with a right overhand. All you have to see what, how AJ boxes, how he's going to box. There's people saying that this is the most kind of sought after heavyweight British title fight since Joshua and Dillian White. What do you think about that? What? Like the most sought after, like the one that people look forward to is a heavyweight domestic British title fight since Joshua fought Dillian White many years ago now. Mm, no, I don't think so because. Joshua and Dylan hate each other since now. Uh, these guys like each other. You know, they're both mummy's boys. They like each other. There's no even the, even the gloves are off. There was no exciting about it. People were rantering. That was the best thing ever. But really, truly, didn't even watch it. But they like each other. These guys. That's it. Well, there ain't uh, too long to wait to uh, finding out. How this is going to play out. Um, what's happening with you at the moment? It seems like you've been quiet on your front, like fight news front. We've not really heard anything. Not even heard any rumours. There's no rumours. I'm just chilling for now. Uh, Frank, uh, Frank Warren's office reached out to me for George Joyce. And uh, it, 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 certain things that are. Does that interest you? Huh? Oh, Joyce, does that interest you? It interests me, but I don't want it when they want it. They want it in the end of the year, no. Yeah. I'm sure you've got other options on the table as well. Yeah, i got Baby Miller, phoning. i got to listen. Yeah, people want to fight, but do they really want to fight? They make phone calls of this, trying to make, like, sound you out. And you're like, yeah, I'll do it. But you don't hear them phoning again. Do you still have the desire to fight, though? Mate, I, I still got it badly, bro. Still want, still want to smoke. I want violence. Yeah, that's what I want now. I don't want more. I want violence. Bro, we live in a world of violence now, bro. You know, if you, don't, if you don't prepare yourself for violence, forget about it. We are in a violent, violent era now, do you understand? So... People, people need violence, and I want violence. I haven't spoke to you since Saudi Arabia. Actually, the last interview I did with you was after the fight night of um, AJ and Engano. Um, Engano has since come uh, out and said some reasons why he believed may have contributed to why he lost the fight, which I'm sure you would have seen. Uh, yeah, it's called a right hand, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a right hand, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> right, you he gave his chin right there. Boom, go on, just knock me out, man. Let me just go home. But I felt bad because his mom jumping in the ring, start crying and all that shit. But fuck it, man. Who gives a fuck, bro? It's a, it's a killer sport we're in, bro. Your advice after immediately after the fight was for Francis Garner really should go back to the UFC. Do you still see that or share that sentiment or do you think that he still could be in some interesting fights at, at heavyweight? Oh, he could yeah. be, surely, couldn't he? Even in the UFC, I don't think it would be a big draw right now. That ain't Garner, that ain't Garner card is played out, fellas. He's done. The only problem we have with Garner is, and the only problem is Tyson Fury made him look good. That's the problem. That's Tyson's downfall right now. 
Yeah. Everything else Tyson was doing amazing. After that Ngannou fight, you know, he, he, he's, uh, his stock kind of went down because... And he goes, yeah, yeah. And then we're like, okay, you know what? Um, okay. And then suddenly AJ comes in and wipes the floor with a guy. And then you look back with a tie. You're like, and then you say to yourself, did he train for that fight? You know, did he train for that fight? Do you understand? It? You know, and then on top of AJ had the fear factor of Ingano in a way that so much was riding on AJ. Yeah, you don't understand, bro. You know, so much was riding on AJ. Like, I cannot make this guy look good. I cannot make this guy look good. Do you understand? Now, there was memes about Ingano. Can you imagine those memes about AJ? Nah, do you understand? So, AJ went in there, trained hard, concentrated on the fight. When he saw the opening, he took it. He didn't want to make him look good. He wanted to school him and say, you know what? You don't belong in this area. You know? The problem here is just Tyson made him look good, bro. You know, that's a problem. You know, I don't think Ngannou could be in the boxing with anybody. Even with Dylan, even with my youngest nephew, he can't be in that ring. Wow. Tyson made him look good. And Tyson knows that. You know, Tyson smoked that guy four rounds, but he didn't know. So? Derek, what do, you, what do you think AJ does now? Because he's not going to just sit about and wait, wait to see what happens with Fury Lucic. He didn't want to get out, surely, would he? And the contract says he has to wait. So you're going to have to wait. They have two fights. If they have two fights, they can play up next to you. Yeah, but you'll fight the winner of Daniel Dubois and Ogovic in Wembley. What well, am I going to say that? Uh, me and my big mouth. But fuck it, I got a big mouth. But Is that the plan, yeah? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Queensbury promotion. It's going to be sick. You know, so this, this is a little adventure for for, for taking our shake will be amazing to bring it back to London. Sick. Uh, they have spoken about that potential um, date or whatever in September, possibly for Wembley Stadium. So it has to be something that is big, and that would be big. The winner of the Bois and which to fight Joshua. That yeah, would be. There's only one person who can Don't uh, AJ Tyson sell out Wembley Arena, bro. You know, but it'll be nice in Tottenham, though. Tottenham is a bomb for fights. You know that. Yeah, as a, as a football club, I don't like them, but there's a stadium. It's a fantastic stadium, yeah. yeah. Tottenham, 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 Tottenham are okay, man. Tottenham are okay. Ah, shit. What do you think about potential matchup between Wilder and Zhang? I didn't see that coming. Is that done? It's a rumour for the 5v5, but obviously nothing's confirmed nah, yet. But if, it's not, if it's not done, it's not done yet. Because remember... For the 5v5, I know it's Hogovic versus Daniel Dubois. And then uh, the other light, lighter way, smaller way. Daniel. There's one other heavyweight fight on it, sir. No, I don't think so. There's, well, there's two heavyweight fights on it. That's been confirmed. Oh. There is. Because well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Deontay hasn't got the... He's not a guy I would pick up. I would phone up if I was going to war. Because right now, he's not that guy right now. You know, that whole doctor sleep is not great for, for his own image. Because nobody's sleeping since he became Dr. Sleep. So he needs to figure it out, man. He needs to bring the bomb squad back. But Zhang wins it by four rounds. You believe Zhang beats Wilder, yeah? Yeah. Zhang is only good for four rounds. And after that, he can't do anything. You know, he's good for four rounds when he's got his power energy. But after four rounds, he's done. He's done. He's like, he can't breathe. He's done. But now, the problem is, Deontay's going to give him more time on the ball. He's not going to put pressure on him. He's going to, Zang's going to work on his, on his own point and stuff like that. So, Zang. Is it possible that you, you'll feature on a Saudi card? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? But I love Saudi, though. It's still my favorite place to go. It's just good when I'm there. It's just, energy is just nice. When I'm there in Saudi, I love Saudi, and I recommend everybody should try it out. You know, the World Cup is coming, so we're going for there for the World Cup.
You go and pump it up. And that's it. All right, well, listen, it's going to be an interesting couple of months coming ahead, obviously, with um, what's going on in Saudi, with May 18th and obviously June the 1st. So. What, what's coming up next now? Um, we've got Haley Garcia coming up. And I'll be going for that. I'll be going for that. Um, I'm going, I'll be going for that. And then you got... Who else? When is Connor and... Uh, Connor's next fight hasn't been confirmed yet. Pacquiao. So he can't fight in London because they denied him. Well, yeah, uh, the board in UCAD won the appeal. So I don't know where, where that situation is at the moment, but yeah. Oh, well, I feel bad for him, bro. Congratulations, Connor, with your new baby. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.